morning everybody just want to show you this a quick one before we go up the garden you notice it's wet and raining and, and this is the kind of where i keep me compost bins it's a shared little garden and didn't realize i've been putting my coffee grounds in number two beer, beer there banging away this bloody one, number one beer's had a wasp's nest in oh so did exactly as it watched on the YouTube video and I think I've got them there now but man there was loads there to be quite honest I'm not sure because I clipped and I'm was <laughs> wandering around in bloody sliders and shorts there but I clipped the the top and just left it this with the garden with the the grass cutter and you know just leave things should have put it right wasps have come but if you've got that problem, I use this stuff. I put a link because I just got it off Amazon. I watched a YouTube video and the lad did that and I've waited about five days for it to come through the post, but straight away. Because I was thinking, will I just <laughs> water fire? I was doing all the kind of kiddie things thinking that way and I thought, no, do it the proper way, Tony. So we'll go up the garden, I think we will. I'm just trying to think, do I need anything? I don't think it's got a dog in here, isn't it? Yes, anyway. <laughs> right, come on. Now, we've had a, a nice drop of rain this last night or so. So it's kept that ground nice and damp. Purely for me little seedlings that I've been putting in. So that was good. So let's get, let's turn you around there. Just walking up to the top and just see what's going on. This is Mark's, Mark's greenhouses that just flourishing there man look at that it's a proper bloody igloo man <laughs> what's going on what's going on here mark oh what's that <laughs> you know there's any freebies going around so what i want to talk about though as well before because i forget is i'll just show you now you know i've got that delivery box which is anyway let's wait Bring it back. You know I'm trying to kind of convert all my seed trays to hard plastic ones just to kind of make them last and trying to be a little bit more environmentally friendly than I'd already <laughs> than I am. <coughs> Excuse me, well remember I bought these. Now these are made by container wise, but these are second-hand ones, and you got 20. Well actually you get 21 and I put a broken one in for packaging. And I forgot to actually mention where I got them from. So they're from Seed Patch, Patch Seed Potatoes or Patch Potato Seeds. There's a link in the description and I think it appeared £30 plus £8 delivery that came from Ireland. And that'll just do me. Now Alex put a little comment in last week's video and I'll grab that link and put it in. He's got plenty left. So please go honestly because these are the ones that this is the kind of damaged one but they are just ideal man honestly you, you wouldn't believe how easy they are to grow and if you remember where's the one that's the one that i've got this the you know i've been pulling the two out where is it oh look at it. it's come away already so for the environment get yourself some of them there's a link below and I'm not, there's no affiliate or anything like that. I'm just, you know, it's a, it's a great offer, to be honest. Now, what I'm going to do before it gets too hot in here, because it's just nice. I'm going to clip a clip a clipper the whole lot of these and get it down so I can see what my fruit looks like. So that's what it looks like now. I'm not even going to show you. It's going to be done like, ah, done. Not one, not one truss lopped off. <laughs> there we go. So you can see all the, the kind of <laughs> mess there. I should actually get on and crack on and take a few of these off because, I mean, look at this before we get, oh, look at that bloody size of that thing down there. So there we go. What I noticed, mind you, on, which one was it? There was one of them. I mean, I've got loads of fruit and yet some this one covered in green fly at the bottom so i probably should have lopped all the leaves off and give them a treatment before that 
but anyway it's done and just gets it all nice now and give them a nice good water and settle down what i did notice is it's given us some you remember i cut one off like a side shoot and grew it so we'll see i mean it's got the, the fruit on and everything's there it's coming i mean they're not a any of them are not a particularly bonny looking plant this one's a bit vigorous for some reason it seems to put all its spurt growing because i've even got up here big tomatoes so i might just let this one go a little bit i lopped off that head because i don't want to like just keep on growing i mean that one's getting up to the thing there now i think they're high enough that a lot of them need to be kind of lopped off mind you it's coming to its own the these ones now can do a nice picking i've got friends coming up that's why i'm hanging on for them to, so they can pick them i'll give this a i'll tidy up and i'll give this a water Well, I've got the secateurs and I'm, I'm in good rhythm with it. I'll take off some of these shoots and side shoots and everything just to make it a little bit easier to see. There you go, a little bit better. Do you know what I mean? It's just seem all right. Even that one, mind you, that I cut, that ladybird, there's been an abundance of ladybirds in here. That's starting to like put a lot of flowers out, so I'll just not I haven't really done anything with that one. I got myself a one for the, the pot. What I'm looking at, you know, I'm just looking at these carrots, and this is where I feel. But what I might do is because they need to be thinned out, you know, and I'm not, I'm not that good. I'm gonna have one go on one, see what it's like. Got bloody muck on the seat I have a dirty backside so Steve mentioned this as well he says he thins and then all of a sudden you thin too much and you you kind of use up all your your products so I'm just going in where there's some nice clumps actually the middle's missing on this one really we'll leave it at that the time being one of the needs a little bit thinning feels like you're pulling up your babies <laughs> so now as you know being part-time i'm on teas pretty much all the time there now so remember these spinach can you see these spinach here I, want, I planted them in this, oh, I, think, I can't remember how many tree a thing it is, but it's the, the big one. And I wanted to do it so I can just cut without any soil mess. Well, I think the time's now for some little baby spinach. So I get me bag. And I think it's a good time to see it. Why don't you subscribe to the show? Yeah, costs you nothing. Subscribing costs you nothing. And all it means is, you get them notified when I make videos. <laughs> it actually be lovely just to see us more often do comment in the comments. I should have watered these. I missed the day. But just cutting them off like that and just getting baby spinach. So yeah, there's a subscribe button on me, front of me anywhere you're watching this. Just hit that and you're subscribed and then that's, like I say, now that I'm part-time, I'm trying to do as many, and if you miss something vital, man, that's lost just to like, because I'll just do this, I'm going to cut this, eat, sorry, cook this today. Right, tell you, I'll tell you how. People say you should do the, the videos, but olive oil in a pan, in like a kind of walky pan. Going to put a few chilli flakes in there as well. Just throw this in, wilt it down, and then... Not wilt it down too much so it becomes like slushy. I still want to kind of keep that leaf, you know, integrity. And then serve it up, a little bit like another drizzle of olive oil, but with goat's cheese. Put the goat's cheese in first before you kind of serve it up. Just toss it slightly. And then that goat's cheese, it doesn't melt, but it just becomes like tacky almost. And it's, it's lovely. That's what I'm doing with this bag of spinach and this bag of, you know it's, it's only like one meal 
you know, it'll not go far, but I'll give this a good water again, and you never know, I might get another picking. So yeah, subscribe, that would be fun, and the thumbs up would be lovely as well. As some of them has dried out, you know, one day, a day, I've got to be on the ball tone. So there you go, I'm going to get a good water again, and that's me back of spinach for tonight's tea. So I've got my aubergine, picked the cucumber as well, I've got my spinach. Now, I've done my things, you've subscribed to the show, yes. Let's go and pick this cool rabi and tell us how to cook it. Please, if you would be so quick, so kind. Can you see there? I don't know if you can or not. It seems a nice size one, mind you, if I can get it. Get up there. Can not get it out? Oh. What the? Sugar. Um. Come on, take it to the composter. So is it just like, I don't know, like a little turnip sort of thing or a swede? Is that how I'm cooking it? Get it. That roots. Roots bloody oh, tough as old. Near me knife. Man, these are so. <laughs> if it's at least something like that, then just cut the root off. Right, what do I do with it? Have you noticed these must have been dwarf bilotti beans? They're coming, but they ain't no bloody. <laughs> I've built this thing, man. I've built that. Thank God, Ian from Growing Locally, give us one plant, one bilotti bean plant. Look at it. It's took over, Nelly. Come from this side. But just getting the hint to send us down six, that would just come with the whole. Picking lot. I would have people are probably wondering on this a lot, man. You're like, what did you build that for? <laughs> but anyway, there's, there's beans coming, anyways, yes. And in my quest to get the garden that has the most plants running to seed, which I think I'm well in the lead of, some of these little turnips are going as well. I don't actually hamper me. That's me. Was that spinach? Oh, that was the, um, the chard. Them tomatoes didn't work, it's a shame that, but I didn't have any room for them. But little dinky ones, I don't know, is that one of the tomato plants there? They've yeah, got some little things on, but I can the bloody height of these, these sweet corn. Starting to flower up there now, so the ones that were, just for a, an update, the ones that were the same variety, just planted two weeks later and left a little bit longer in the pot. Do you know what I mean? You notice there's a bit of an angle there. I think because the the west sunsets in the west. I'm sure it's that reason. On another note, these are gooseberries, goose gogs. My wife made a crumble. Man, I had three quarters of it. <laughs> Chunky here. Oh man. Them red ones are sweet as anything. See, I'm leaving them. Tony. I'm wandering around here. Let's go to the bloody bin. Somebody mentioned in the comments, you know, this is a... I haven't been to your channel for a while. But I've noticed you're running around. There's lots of swearing. I don't want to be here. <laughs> Who swears? I've noticed... Look at... Again, continue my quest for running the seed. A couple of them are. So they must be kind of ready, these little... I thought they might have went a bigger leaf. These were them greens. But uh, there's a couple of... You know, it's always... If I can win one competition, going to seed, I'm good at that. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm just noticing things. and I'll give you an update on the leeks and these. Those were them 50 pence tomatoes. I put four pants in. And I honestly didn't think they would go. There's a lot of green. I haven't done if I've got a tomato plant on. Oh, I can see a little 
Romana tomato there. Wait a minute. I need to do that. There we go. Little little one. But I put these onions in as well. These are those Kelsey. Now these were bought onions. So they're a nice shape as well. But they're getting kind of smothered out now. You know. I mean they're still nicely big. I could quite look at the size of that thing down there. Pull them, but I'm just going to leave them a little bit longer. Because I've, I've got them dry in the other onions, and we'll just see how they go. I've been pulling the Charlotte potatoes now. Did I mention to have I shown you that? Good crops in the Charlotte. Right. I'm waffling, and I'm just... I'm, I'm part-time, man. I've got time to kill. Look after yourselves. Take good care.